next skier was Michaela Fischini of Switzerland. In 1984, she was, at the age of 17, the youngest skier to ever win an Alpine gold medal in the Sarajevo Olympics. She is the defending world champion and was skiing well here. And until last year, everybody thought she would never be beaten, but then she went into a tremendous slump, finishing sixth in the overall World Cup standings. But now, for the moment, she sat in first place. Five skiers later, Michaela's teammate and rival Maria Volliser had her turn on this course. Here is how we called it. The second member of the Swiss triumvirate that was expected to challenge for the gold medal of the women's downhill in these world championships is now on the course. Maria Volliser, the 86 World Cup overall and downhill champion. Let's see this comparison to the best run at this portion of the course, and she is the fastest. She is the fastest, and she got way back on her skis right there after you mentioned it, Al. That'll cost us some time. Her teammate, Fajini, is down at the bottom of the hill. They don't get along very well. There's a tremendous rivalry between the two. But Fajini was great on the bottom half of the course. And still faster, but not by as much. For Volliser, it was a, a big, big shadow to sit behind Hess and Fajini, and last year she finally was able to emerge from it. Okay, Volliser has been second three times this year and had a third of the four downhills. She's been great, but she has yet to win. She was also second in Sarajevo in 1984 by five hundredths of a second. But now she has the lead, and she's gaining on it. She looks like she's in pretty good shape right here. Remember, though, Fajini was great on the bottom. I think this is going to be very close down through here, Al. The time of Fajini, her teammate on the left. She's got it by more than a three-tenths of a second. Maria Valliser of Switzerland is the leader of the women's downhill. Says it all right there. 